Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are telling our diets to bow down so that we can enjoy the world's fudgiest brownie ever. Look at that, am I kidding? Oh my gosh, yes. It's like chocolate on chocolate on chocolate, just dense and thick and like mm, past the milk, okay? And of course, it's easy to make, y'all. Let's go. All right, first the world's best ingredient ever, butter. Dump that into a bowl. Next one, I'm gonna add in some brown sugar. Dump that in. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of granulated sugar, okay? Next, we're gonna mix this all up and get it well combined, okay, to where it's looking like that. And then we're gonna add in our egg. You can also add in some vanilla extract at this point if you want to. You can also add in a little bit of um, espresso powder or espresso extract if you wanna give it like a little, you know, coffee taste to it. Next, I'm gonna add in some melted chocolate. Those are semi-sweet chocolate chips. I just melted them in the microwave. Now go ahead and just mix this right on up and it's looking lovely. I'm gonna add in a little bit of flour, not a lot of flour in this recipe. And this is why they're so nice and thick and fudgy. This is not a little fluffy brown that's gonna leave your hands all neat. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, that was some unsweetened cocoa powder going in there. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of salt. This is a one bowl recipe, yay! You guys know I love my one bowl recipes. Mix this up really, really good, just like that. And guess what, done, boom, yeah, easy, right? Oh my God, so easy. Okay, so now we're gonna dump this into our little prepared pan. Go ahead and dump that in, and you're gonna spread this into a nice, even layer. Okay, that looks good. Good job, Monique, you did good, girl. I hope you guys compliment yourself while you're cooking. I hope you do that, all right? Okay, that's perfect. Now it's time for our toppings. You can really use whatever's gonna float your boat, but I'm using these baking M&Ms and a Hershey's bar because, you know, I want it to look all fun and pretty and happy, and for some reason, M&Ms they make me happy. So go ahead and just press those into your batter. You can use walnuts, whatever. We're gonna bake it 325 for about 30 to 35 minutes. When it comes out of the oven, let it cool off completely, and then we're gonna pop it in the fridge for one hour. Don't you skip that fridge step because they're not gonna set up right. You have to put these in the fridge or they're just gonna be way too gooey. They should be able to cut beautifully and hold their shape. And that fridge, it just sets it up perfectly, okay? You can still, once you um take them out of the fridge, you can store them room temperature but you have to do the fridge step look at that mm. that makes me happy they are so gooey and just yes 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 look at that texture you guys this texture this is for the real this is like eating brownie better but better okay because it's just so good i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe new videos every thursday and sunday at eight o'clock later